What's going on guys? I'm here with the HSP drip car this one and I uh, wanted to kind of do a little comparison against this $50 one from Walmart uh, This is a really good RC guys. You guys could see right here. We got it on and off switch This is how we charge it. So it's got a built-in. It's got a 9 volt battery in there This thing can be ran on 3s stock is 3s it's got a uh, see these are made out of some sort of a die cast metal and it turned everything it does it does pretty good pretty good so uh, I thought I compare them and then you guys saw this one which is just sweet this is this is the last video that I'm gonna do with this and then this little guy's going back so here it is, you guys could see, here is the $200 one, which is really nice, it even got uh, drip springs, you can see those springs are different. Not bad for 200 bucks, comes with a nickel metal hydrate battery, uh, wrong thing to do, because it has these things that come off, the whole, they keep the body from getting scratched up. So you can't lose these little guys. I'm probably going to buy some because my cat was already messing with them and uh, it's going to end up losing them. So this is the $200 one brushed. Really nice one. Um, it's got like an old school ESC there because I can't find this one in, at least online unless it's China probably. But it it looks pretty good. If the heat sink on it feels really strong. So that's that one. And that one's just a 2S runner. So I don't know if you can use 3S. I I don't know. Uh, it has a 45 amp ESC, not 60. So I really wouldn't do that. And from what it has, it does pretty good. So you really don't need to use a lot of power for this. Not just for drifting, if you're just going to drift. It does pretty good with what it has, you know. The only thing you can do here is buy a little heat sink so it looks a little more better. Maybe polish up this right here so it looks a little clean cut. But compared to this one, this one actually did pretty good. Uh, you can see this is its trim so it doesn't have that type of uh, digital trim. It's got a decent little motor back there. Uh, these drip tires come off. They do come with extra tires so you get a set of four tires so you can drift outside with them and then save the other ones to drift inside so i thought we'd do a little drift here in my living room kind of compare them a little bit you can see here's the body this is the body that belongs to the 50 dollar one and the body feels really good, guys. I mean, this thing feels really good. Look at that. It could take a hit. And here is the body for the $200 one. And this doesn't feel like it can take very many hits, guys. But it is a drip car. You're not going to be slamming it into stuff. So uh, it's not a basher. But... Uh, it does feel like the body may break if you hit it too hard. So, but this one feels really good. They both feel really good, but this one is a lot more um, Lexan, Lexan. So it's got plastic mirrors too, so they won't fall off. Um, pretty much, that's pretty much it. When you just compare them, we'll, we'll go over the transmitters real quick. That's how that one looks with its body on. Looks pretty good. I like that. That's really nice. Here's its transmitter here. Got your turbo button there. Batteries there. Plastic knob. Nothing's click. But nothing's proportional either, guys. Yeah, I know. Kind of sucks, huh? But for it not being proportional, it does really good. I mean, really good. Enough to kind of battle this guy. I mean, this one's going to drift a lot better because, you know, it's just better. But this little guy here can keep up with it. 
It really can. So I thought what we would do is, since we've seen this one drip, but we will let it drip right now. But since we've seen that one drip last, I thought we'd start drifting with this one. And, uh, you know, so I can show you guys how it works. And here is the transmitter to the other drift card, the $200 drift card. It's got all its trims, reverse uh, throttle and reverse steering. And then here's all your regular trims here, which look like more than they are. It's okay. It's not too bad. I don't like that rim, but it's not that bad. It, it feels good too. It doesn't feel all weak. So that's the $200 one. And this one has no trim. It looks like one of their cars does have trim. See that? But it ain't this one. And there's mine. I still haven't used it, guys. Um, I did manage to put the stickers on. I had to go, like, online to figure out where they went. Because some of those stickers there, I didn't, I didn't understand those things. I, I didn't know where they went. So I had to go and look. But I got them on. I got only a few, guys. I don't want to put a whole bunch. I really don't like the stickers that come with it. They're okay. See that? I just put a few. The door handle. That one. And back here. I put the exhaust. And a couple stickers. So, nothing major. Still haven't used it, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. I haven't used the brush this one. Been a little busy, you know. A lot busy. So let's go ahead and check this out. Man, it it looks good, doesn't it? That looks really good. Um, let me grab its clips. So these are the clips. They come with the two, I mean the $50 one. Not bad for 50 bucks. Looks pretty good. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. A little bit. Let me put these clips on real fast. Yeah, these clips are small. And uh, very easy to lose. All finished so let's go ahead and turn this on underneath here okay turn the transmitter on at least it's not going uh, 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 there is no proportion guys at all on this kind of sucks but it doesn't really need it I guess so I'm going to go ahead and get this tripod, put it up a little bit, so you guys can get a better view here. I was using it yesterday for the batteries. It looks like the battery's a little low. You know what? I'm going to have to charge this up. It'll be like one second for you guys. But, uh, oh yeah, look at it. It's dead. All right, back. I press this turbo button here I can push it down with like my hand it's a little difficult I don't know why they put that there that was stupid 
they should have just put it to where you pull the trigger and pull it all the way back and maybe turbo. I don't know. How the hell are you supposed to press that and this at the same time? See, that's with the turbo on. Huh? Let's see if I can get some drifting in here. not so bad that's actually pretty good and remember I don't know how to drift very good guys so I only have one tiny little drift car and I know how to drift that one but that's 124 scale this is a lot bigger a lot more weight you know so I'm not very good at it. Oh, out of view again, come on. Pressing the turbo now. Very loud. See that if you use the turbo at a certain time, it'll like whip it around, just give you that power to whip it around to do that turn. So I do like that about it. I mean, it's a little difficult because I have to like press it with my palm here, like this, and then push the trigger. It kind of makes me squeeze it hard, the, the transmitter. Alright, so now let's try the brushed. So let's go over here. The, I mean, the other brush. They're both brush. Let's go in and get this little guy started. There it is, there. You can then, uh, grab this. Guess I'll plug it all up, guys, and put the body on. We'll try this one. All right, guys, that one's all dressed up. Sorry if the drip card was a little loud, guys. Kind of forgot to grab my microphone. Sorry about that. Oh, wow. So you see, it pretty much does everything that one does. That is, does everything that the $50 one does, but it just does it better. But it that $50 one can hang in there.
Yeah, but you can really see this one drips a lot, a lot better. Because it has a lot more power. Look at that, look at what I did. Let's fix this guy. I know I'm out of here. Forgive me. I just popped that in. It like got hit in. See, I don't like this body too much. I'm thinking about getting a new... Well, I am gonna get it. I'm gonna get a bunch of things for this drift car. Okay. Wow, this one slides a lot better. So you see, not too bad for that $50. Yeah, I'm not very good. I'm gonna have to practice drifting. I will though, I'll get it. Yeah, I just need to practice. Practice makes permanent, not perfect. No one's perfect. And nothing is perfect. So when you practice, it makes permanent, not perfect. So that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. Both pretty cool RCs. I really like the $50 one a lot. It actually did pretty good. So you can get a $50 drip card from Walmart and uh, just go inside, open this transmitter up and bypass this and it'll be full speed the whole time. They show you how to do that on YouTube as well. And uh, it's a pretty good drift card, guys. Pretty good. So that's pretty much the end of this one. I will be back, guys, with more videos. So stay tuned and thanks a lot for watching.